It's a great spot. Yeah, it is a um, timeshare resort. It's the last resort on the peninsula, so there's not much room between the last building on the resort and the, where the beach ends. The primary system is mild reinforced flat slabs, and the unique thing about this project is probably, for the most part, that the units don't necessarily stack. A lot of the slabs are transfer slabs. So instead of doing transfer beams or having to carry columns through, uh, we use the flat slabs as transfer slabs. You know, it simplifies the formwork. Um, they were able to use fly forms on the project to streamline and, and speed up construction. Mm -hmm. And then we just thicken the slabs as needed and add reinforcing. And being in Spanish too, we, we tried to just get right down to calling everything out where, where it was in details or plan. It tends to be what we saw in other drawings uh, generated by structural engineers out of Mexico. So it simplified the, the production, the drawing production a little bit in that regard. Metric uh, is easier to grasp and process than you might think. It, it becomes second nature. Interesting on this, though, we still use the standard rebar callouts that we do here in the States. Huh. Number fives, number fours, number threes, Grand Solmar. Even when it's under construction, <laughs> <laughs> you take shots of the construction and the background is, you know, it's unlike anything we do here in the States, pretty much. A yeah. typical construction project. But it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful sunsets. Uh, it's a great spot. And the product that they're creating down there is phenomenal. When you walk through the units and look at the finishes, uh, it's, it's top notch.